Hello, uh, a very good afternoon everyone. Hey, apologies for the lack of videos. I'm just getting used to a new rotor. Hey, one heavy, heavy week. Um, one short week, but still takes me well to recover. Hey, front rank, what are the roses? Hey, I've just been overtaken with them. I've almost put away the figures, I'm not 100% on rules yet. I love painting the figures, really, really love the front rank figures. I absolutely dream to paint. And I just got a delivery today, I just want to say a big thank you to the front rank uh, folks. For the swift with their, their post. And I got a couple of free figures. I forgot to order them paid by PayPal and uh, the gentleman. Uh, popped them in for free. Really kind of him. Hey, Andy. Andy started me off in front rank. I was intending to do all my War of the Roses in Perry. And I've got a Perry order on the way. I ordered it, a, I think, a few weeks back. And uh, it's now due for delivery. I see it uh, on dis in dispatched on my email. So, I think I'm going to do Perry as the Lancastrian and front rank as the Yorkists and for Gundian cavalry in it. I went a wee bit nuts with the cavalry. I've actually got more than that. Andy sent me up some some cavalry. And of course, you know you think well I'll add to them. <laughs> so and then a friend David uh, messaged me on Facebook to say that he had bought a number for a Swiss army and I took uh, the cavalry off his hand. So, other than the ones I can see, and then I went and bought some more too. Because David bought the same pose of figure and the same horse eh, for good fun. So I wanted to mix him in a bit. So, I think I've got more cavalry than I'll ever need. He also sent me, I was wanting to go do touting. Eh, I'll be doing touting, but I'll probably do across the board because I've now got Richard III. I think he was the king for eh, was it Barnet and Tewkesbury in Boswell? Was it what? Uh, Boswell, is that right? Boswell, or whatever it was. I can't mind. Just getting there with all good learning. So, I was talking to my buddy Robert. He put me in the right direction. I'm not 100% on Field of Glory if I want to base a Field of Glory. I just really want to paint the armies and base them up. And I was thinking, you know, kind of like doing the Napoleonics that I'd have figures overlapping and get that whole feeling of uh, pushed together troops of the medieval period. Uh, but the Fields of Glory, they kind of base like DBA, DBM, and so they're in a line, and I'm not sure that that would work with me, I don't know. If anyone's got any suggestions, uh, that'd be very welcome to hear. Uh, so I think I've got three big units, I think, I don't know if these are called the battle, or the battles, the actual Lodi units together, cavalry and the, the command. So I've got two commands there. I've got a noble who I'm thinking someone like uh, the Falkenberg. Uh, Warwick, I've got a, a bag with the Kingmaker in it. Uh, over there. So he can get done on a different base. But yeah, I'm just getting into it. I uh, know for the the fully harnessed knights, I worry Robert was saying if I do something around uh, 8 plus in a unit to show that that's a fully, fully harnessed with a couple of hangers on. I don't know if they would have the kind of cornet guys in it, but I'm going to put a flagman and a cornet and a flagman, a banner, whatever. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the, the, the livery, 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 however you pronounce it. Uh, I started off just doing everybody with the burgundy and blue, you know, thinking, because you get the flags for the big chaps and their units, you know. And then when I started reading the, uh, what is it, the Lance and Longbow Society stuff, you, you realise that obviously, just like the Hundred Year War, you've got all these different, you know, coats of arms and knights and that. So, I take it, uh, the main guys would have a whole load of knights and that in their livery, and then when you get down to the lesser nobles, their units, they would have a few, say like the ones from different districts put together, 
uh, with the odd banner. That's what I'm planning anyway. And because I think it's a Tewkesbury book, you really get some beautiful uh, coats of arms to put on. Anyway, that's me. A wee look into my War of the Roses. I just started on the project. This will be a long running in the background because I'll no doubt be jumping back from the back and forward from the Polaronics. Okay, if anyone's got any advice, uh, give me a wee shout. Happy wargaming. Bye for now.